So we set out to test how many amps these batteries could provide doing a full throttle flight until it read the same milliamp hours as the battery and practically fell out of the air. We're doing this test on a Spark 20x20 Spark 32 ESC uh, using the Schizo 1500 5S battery. It was 109 degrees. So after the flight, you can see uh, no puffing, no issues with the battery. Uh, we plugged in the charger. You can see this battery's oh, completely dead. It's uh, about three volts per cell. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and charge it up. And once charged, it read 1.69 amp hours. Uh, so that means we actually pulled even more than the 1500 rating on the battery. So this battery was ready to completely fall the air. It's interesting to see that it pulled pretty much the same amount of amps all the way to that point. Uh, then doing some simple math to, to calculate the average amps per hour. I mean, you could see them in the meter during the flight. You could see how much they're all drawing at the individual ESC. But uh, it looks like you know dividing 1.69 amp hours by 40 seconds, which is the length of the flight from when I first punched it till we landed. Uh, we put that. We took 1.69 amp hours, put it over 40 seconds, uh, made that equal to X over 3,600 seconds. And we came up with a number of 152.1 amps per hour. So, I mean, that's less than the 150C rating, but that's significantly more than I've ever seen pulled on a quad. And ultimately, we've, we got these batteries, we designed these batteries for our DR1 team, and I think they're going to do awesome today.